said to be the voice of paper shirts. And who knows paper shirts would be able to say. Yeah, nobody like the man. By the man hurt me to the core. By the man do me something. By boss man, the man and police by me. But ten fucking time now. Embarrassed. Um, Detective Bascom said that this guy, Azradin Mohammed, was a suspect. And the police did not arrest nor question him. Along with Azradi Mohammed, this other guy who at the time was a security, working security for the Mohammeds. We're told that he's no longer there. He's moved on. Superintendent Mitchell Caesar was detained for more than seven hours by FBI agents at the John F. Kennedy International Airport. However, United States sources have told Nightly News that the senior policeman was detained twice by FBI agents on Tuesday last. It's connected to the acting, or at some point in time, he was connected to the acting commissioner of police. Mark, this guy, Mark Richmond, we are told was connected to the acting commissioner of police. And the acting commissioner of police must say, what is the relationship with him and this guy? whether there is a family connection or not. I am all like everybody. They call me and say, yo, we call it a day. I go, you go and fight with the rest of fucking people. Next question that the commissioner of police acting, Clifton Hicken, should say whether his US visa was revoked. That's one, whether his v US visa was revoked and if in fact his u.s visa was revoked under what circumstances my experience now with the Mohammeds and what everybody's seeing in the world um i can't say they could dispute that if it is paper charts as vice you understand like i'm looking at it like what is possible me if we all the Mohammed don't get fucking smelly smell for put something on me i'm like them is them kind of people welcome back to the flight hit that subscription button buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in guyana and the diaspora thanks attorney at law nigel use has asked a pertinent question and this is this is nigel use this is his post nigel ask this question asking for a friend will the paper shorts murder investigation remain a cold file and this is an important question thank you so much nigel hughes attorney at law is asking this question asking for a friend Will the paper shorts murder investigation remain a cold case or a cold file? Well, now, thank you so much for that question, Nigel. And that question is important because it is apparent that senior members of the Guyana police force are involved in a cover up of that murder. And Nigel Hughes is asking a simple question. Will it remain a cold case? A cold file? Is that what it's all about? Many of you know Paper Shorts uh, was murdered. Those of you who know him. But he was murdered in front of Palm Court. He was set to be an affiliate, a friend of Roger Khan. And you know Roger Khan was convicted of drug selling in the United States of America. And so he's back in Guyana. Some people are saying, including Roger Khan, that the bullets were meant for him. Roger Khan said that the bullets were meant for him. And so according to a detective, Detective Bascom, Detective Bascom said that this guy, Azradin Mohammed, was a suspect. And the police did not arrest nor question him. Along with Azradin Mohammed, this other guy who 
at the time was a security, working security for the Mohammeds. We're told that he's no longer there. He's moved on to other stuff. We're also told that he is, we now, now here's where we gotta be. Here we're going. We're told that he's connected to the acting, or at some point in time, he was connected to the acting commissioner of police. Mark, this guy, Mark Richmond, we are told was connected to the acting commissioner of police. And the acting commissioner of police must say what is the relationship with him and this guy whether there is a family connection or not. And the family connection at that point in time of the allegations level against this guy, Mark Richmond, that he was part of that murder um, on the night, sorry, he participated allegedly in the murder of Paper Shorts. Now, the acting commissioner of police, who is a friend of Asruddin Mohammed, has to say to the public whether there was at that point in time a connection between his family and Mark Richmond, a suspect. That's what the Commission of Police should be answering. The next question that the Commission of Police acting, Clifton Hicken, should say whether his U.S. visa was revoked. That's one whether his U.S. visa was revoked. And if, in fact, his U.S. visa was revoked, under what circumstances? Let the Commissioner of Police Acting issue a statement. Let the Commissioner of Police Acting also say what is his connection, what is his relationship between the Mohammeds, Asruddin Mohammed, and himself. These are questions that need to be answered, and the Acting Commissioner of Police should be answering those questions. There are other senior members of the Guyana Police Force who should be answering those questions as well. Their connection to the Mohammeds, whether they are in the pockets of the Mohammeds or not, because eventually those things will come out at some point in time. And this is not to say that overseas international law enforcement agencies, particularly those agencies in the U.S., might not have already gotten that information. In other words, they probably know everything by now. But what the public needs to know is whether you have an acting commissioner of police who is acting on your behalf or is he acting on, the, on behalf of other individuals individuals of the underworld on the world folks drug lords and so forth and so on that is what he has to answer he also has to say what's his relationship with azradin mohammed the mohammeds and whether he has ever taken any bribe from the mohammeds that's all that's all i wish to say at this point in time concerning the acting commissioner of police Clifton Hicking, his relationship with this guy also, this guy, Mark Richmond, who is said to be, I'm not sure whether he's still a suspect, but this matter was not investigated. Hicken has to say whether he pulled the plug on this investigation. If, and if in fact he pulled the plug on the investigation, then under what circumstances did he pull the plug? Why did he pull the plug? What we do know is that there was a press conference and at that press conference, lots of things were covered up at the police press conference. Lots of things were covered up. Lots of things were covered up. We're not sure why, but again, and I hope some press folks out in Guyana would be able to ask the commissioner of police whether and it's just a question, mind you, whether this guy, Mark Richmond, is, was, or was he ever the son-in-law of the acting commissioner of police? That's the question, whether he was ever 
this guy was ever his son-in-law. That is what he needs to know. That is what needs to be confirmed. You know, we're, we're getting some information, mind you, but I don't want to keep going on with this. The commissioner of police, the acting commissioner of police has to answer that question. And at the time of the murder of this guy, paper shards, whether there was that family connection between the suspect, Mark Richmond, and Hicken, who happens to be the acting commissioner of police. And what's his relationship with the Mohammeds? Maybe we'll get somewhere with that. But good night and welcome again to this uh, straight up program on 107.1 FM. Love Delta 9 family, welcome back to the flight. Now you just heard what Mark just said right there. So if certain people are related to certain people, and then other people was walking with other people when this whole incident went down. Then Nigel Hughes got a very powerful point and he was asking why and if this case will remain a cold case. It shouldn't because there's a whole lot of striking clues. A lot of new clues in this case are being revealed because if the top cop can't fly no more, allegedly, allegedly, we hear certain persons' wings get cut because of the big bird and everything else, allegedly, that he had to say, in this case, it seems that the top cop was right. It seems that the top cop had a powerful point. Slow had a very powerful point when he's saying, look, certain person, BT was jumping and they should be looking out for a lot more implications coming down the line as long as Caesar is released and persons are released on time served something is gonna happen and look not even two weeks yet not even two weeks yet and may get sent home in June and another big indictment of billionaires in the country billionaires so you hear directly you hear directly what mark had to say right there about what's going on in the case who is related to who and who was working for who and guess what we're gonna hear directly directly from the voice of the transcended we're gonna hear directly from paper shots himself condolences to the loved ones and all those affected in this case we're going to hear directly from Paper Shards himself coming up right now. We're going to hear him speak on certain things that might implicate some people and might bring some clarity as to what's going on in this case and why it has been drying coal. And right now it is heating up. It is heating up to the point that the U.S. is getting involved. The U.S. government and law enforcement is getting involved in this case right now. And we're going to hear directly what Paper Shards had to say about it. And then we're going to hear some of the implications that are related to Caesar the Bird that was selling out, allegedly, allegedly singing and putting a lot of persons in the squeeze we're going to hear about the implications that might connect him to what's going on right here with his paper shards case. Let's get right into the rest of the content. And if you haven't already, if you haven't already, buddy, thumbs up the video. Thumbs up this video so that it could stay to the front in the headlines and everybody in the algorithm will have an opportunity to stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and in the diaspora one love and i'll catch you in the next flight this is paper shards a few weeks before he died and again this is purported to be paper shards in a voice note paper shards is the person that bascom um accused nazadine muhammad of and this is what the libel case is about Bascom was an investigator in that case. He came out after himself 
finding yourself in some kind of problem and suggest that it was a setup by the Mohammeds, um, he started speaking out as it relates to the investigation and Azadine Mohammed being a suspect in the murder of paper shards. This is the, said to be the voice of paper shards and who knows paper shards would be able to say. Yeah, nobody like the man, by the man hurt me to the core, by the man do me something, by boss man, the man send police by me. But ten fucking time now, embarrass me family, send police a search with jerks, send police with this, send soak up a care with this, 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 da, 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 da. You know what I mean? And he expect that fucking people ain't gonna forget he, gonna forget he, he, you know how much thing I, 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 I just line up, hey? But you know what? You could disrespectful to fucking me and to a lot of fucking people. Immoral control. So, um, my experience now with the Mohammeds and what everybody's seeing in the world, um, I can't say they could dispute that if it is paper shards' voice. You understand? Like I'm looking at it. Like what is possible me if the older Mohammed can get fucking smelly smell for put something on me? I'm like, them is them kind of people. Hello? 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 This person is black just for stupidity because they call quite a few times, but then you, know, you got black people going on. So. so, Clifton Messiah is asking why were they? The family has been accused of drug smuggling. Um, Christian Messiah is asking why were they to operate with impunity all the years? Now, finding oil in Ghana might be their worst nightmare as the U.S. Justice Department will be looking at them. Well, I can tell you, um, one of their things that, that they've been able to get to, is well, isn't it a fuck wrong the right body? <laughs> they fuck wrong a man, they fuck wrong find out. <laughs> Who's living life for the past court? <laughs> I am my call for trying to tarnish me. My motherfucking head was whack wrong with hair but he head looking like this. No. No, no, no. You serious? You realize the fucking baile laugh? If his ego is goddamn running. <laughs> I name fucking Igor. I name Igor. The bigger the struggle is, the better for me. I live for this country. If you call me, I, I, I am all like everybody. If you call me and say, yo, if we call it a day, I go, you go and fight to the rest of fucking Google. Because me living me life a fight, but I love it. Imagine I sit down, I did it, how I could, when I done in tune me, but how I could join the MMA. You ever see anybody who dead good and they're good for study for going to get people to beat the living daylights out of the scum? You want to probably have somebody like that? With a mindset like that? Watch here, this tree, this is, let me see. This is, this is me in the background there. This is me there riding from the front with a shotty. We going hunting. This here is me riding. This here is me broken up a fucking thing. They got so much pressure. Y'all didn't realize? Is this size live for? What well, one time there's been something that I ever presented that didn't show that I live dangerously? Where is riding fucking bull and let them ride in horse and let them go in and ride jet ski and crashing in, in, in Bartica? Swimming in the fucking Esikirwa River? Running down wild hag and deer all over the country. Them 
they misread me. Then I understand what's going on. But I'm saying and I've said it publicly. If you left me alone, I can left you fucking alone. You understand? But me come this far and build a fucking media empire. Can nobody run me battery scunt? Me dying them fucking game, the banner. You understand? <laughs> you understand the currency, why you got? The man got all the money in the world trying to buy you, why you got scunt. You understand what they're doing? A vice. But it's not for me, I just using it now, one, one time. Compared to one, one lash. I create this vice for the people. It's not for me. The Diana Police Force cannot confirm or deny that head of the Major Crimes Unit of the Diana Police Force, Superintendent Mitchell Caesar, was detained for more than seven hours by FBI agents at the John F. Kennedy International Airport. However, United States sources have told Magley News that the senior policeman was detained twice by FBI agents on Tuesday last. It is unclear at this point why Mr. Caesar was detained and what specifically he was questioned about. Caesar, who is currently in the United States of America, was among several police officers officers who had traveled to India on fully paid scholarships to receive training in forensic interviews. Most recently, Mr. Caesar had denied allegations that he was involved in attempts to cover up and interfere in the murder investigation of biker Ricardo Fagundes. She's ready. Stay ready. Mr. The ultimate male supplement, men's total wellness formula, packed with essential nutrients for men's health. She'll call you Mr. C. Under the guise that they are not in our jurisdiction and they feel safe abroad, safe from the reach of our law, that they are taking note to. And I hope that anyone that they malign, people who they malign, you sue them now 